Oh. Yep, I pulled the trigger. Before I start this video, I want to show you something crazy. The following sequence you're about to see was shot using SLOG 3, 10 bit, 42 colors, and ISO ranging from 12,800 to 100,000. Yeah, I'm not kidding. You're about to see some clips recorded with 100,000 ISO. Enjoy! Just a month ago, I was afraid to go over 3200 ISO and now I can comfortably go to 20,000 ISO and get good, usable footage out of it. What the hell is happening with technology? It feels like it's almost getting too crazy. Well, anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of the video. My mind is just simply blown. I thought this day would never come. It's finally mine! These clips you see right now were the first ever shots taken with the Sony a7S III. And I gotta tell you, it was an amazing experience. Okay, let's talk about the things that shocked me about this camera and also some stuff that I just don't really care about. And let's start with, in my opinion, the main reason why you should get this camera. The color science. 10 bit 422 colors. Look, I consider myself okay in color grading. And I have managed to get amazing colors out of the Sony Alpha 6500's 8 bit S Log 2. But this feels like a different universe. It feels as if the image never breaks. The skin tones always seem to look on point. It's just. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna shut up and just show you what the Sony A7S III is really capable of.
next big update, autofocus. I already thought Sony Alpha 6500's autofocus was blazing fast, but this is just... it's just next level. From all the clips I took, there was maybe one time where the focus haunted for a split second, but other than that, it was not only fast but also extremely precise. The eye autofocus works wonders and it can even pick up faces from a far distance. You know, I can't believe technology has come so far. Just 5 years ago, I was filming with my Nikon D5200 which didn't even have autofocus in video, and now... I legit don't have to worry about autofocus anymore. And last but not least, fixed rolling shutter. I personally didn't really find that a big of an issue on my Sony Alpha 6500 even though the rolling shutter was extreme in 4K. But now that I've gotten many handheld shots with the Sony s 3 they just look way more natural and pleasing to my eye. And now when I do handheld shots with my Sony Alpha 6500, I can immediately see that jello effect, which is pretty annoying now. There's no turning back, boys. There's no turning back. My friend and I also went to the forest to test out how this camera would perform on a gimbal with its new IBIS and active mode feature turned on, which is uh, basically IBIS plus digital stabilization and... Uh, check out the shot I got. I was running like a madman through a forest full of branches and little hills, but it handled it like a champ. Also, I said it once and I'm gonna say it again. That 10-bit 422 though. Oh, love that stuff. The 4K 50 and 4K 100p look amazing, and I see myself shooting in 4K 50 most of the time. I also tested out the 4K 100, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be using it all that much. But it's a cool feature to have. The improved IBIS as well as active mode work great, the new menu is definitely a welcomed feature. However, I actually found the flippy screen on the Sony s 3 to be a little bit uncomfortable. I will probably be the only one in this entire world to say this, but I prefer the old tilting screen on the Sony's. Yup, I said it. Please don't hate me. This flippy screen also feels so fragile, I just don't like it. And what about touchscreen? Nah, don't care. I find it much faster using buttons to navigate through the menus, although the touch to focus is a great add-on. Anything else? Hmm. I kind of can't get used to the grip, I think it has a weird feeling to it, but let's give it a bit of time. And what about low light? 12,800 ISO in S-Log3, the image is extra crisp and clean, what else do you need to know really? Still the low light king right there. This camera isn't an upgrade to me, it's a new era. It will be my partner in crime for at least the next 5 years and I'm looking forward to discovering the ins and outs of this camera. But you know what's the best thing? I was only able to get this camera because of you guys watching our videos. The opportunities we've gotten in the last couple of years are all because of you watching our videos. So I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving us the chance to follow our dreams and advance in our crafts. Thank you all so so much and with these new cameras I would say this marks a new era not only for myself but for Dream Duo Films as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to Dream Duo Film Season 2, baby. I love you all. Peace out.